Kia ora tato. In this video we will look at acidic and basic salts. Uh, so a salt is basically anything that's made up of an anion and a cation. So we first of all, if we're presented with a salt, is that we need to work out what the anion and what the cation is. So for this one here, we, we just need to recognize that this is an ethanoate ion, and then we've got a sodium ion there. So the anion is CH3. COO minus and the cation is Na plus. So we need to work out whether or not this salt will be an acidic salt, a neutral salt, or a basic salt. And to do that, it's really just uh, practicing acid base reactions and being able to recognize whether either the cation or the anion will act as an acid or a base. So from previous videos, just have a think if you if you know whether either this or this will act as a base or an acid. So maybe you've recognized the ethanoate particle. So what the ethanoate particle does is it can act as a um, base by accepting, so CH3COO minus. When that's in water, that can accept a hydrogen ion from a water molecule. So this hydrogen ion will be will join on there, and what we get is the ethanoic acid, COOH, and we get OH minus. So this is a base because first of all it's, it's accepted a proton from water and then it's increased the concentration of hydroxide ions in the solution. Uh, so this is just the um, equation that we had for CH3COOH, but pretty much just the opposite way around. Um, so ethanoate can act as a um, as a base. So if you get a question like this, it'll it'll say something like show whether or not sodium ethanoate can act as an acid or a base, and use two equations to show you your answer. So first, the first equation would be showing the um, dissociation or the dissolution of sodium ethanoate in water. So you would write this CH3 COO Na, um, and we'd write that as a solid. This is before we've added any water, and then when we put that into water, we end up with these two anions. So we're just going to write that CH3COO minus. It's now aqueous, so it's just the ions breaking apart, is all we're showing, and then sodium ions. So that's the two equations that we would show if we had to talk about sodium ethanoate as acting as a a basic salt. So this would end up reducing the, uh, increasing the pH of a solution that we put sodium ethanoate in. Another um, salt that we could have would be, let's see if I can get rid of this, um, ammonium chloride. So ammonium chloride, again, let's first of all look at what will happen when that goes into water. So we've got H2O, it's going to break apart into its ions, and we just need to recognize that it's probably going to break along that line there. So we're going to have ammonium, NH4, which will be aqueous, um, and chloride, uh, chloride ion, um, NH4 plus, sorry. So do any of these, do you recognize either this or this as something that acts as an acid or a base? Well, you might remember from, we would have written it as NH3 plus H2O goes into NH4 plus OH minus. Um, so this is just this effectively w working in the opposite direction will be this acting as an acid. But we're not going to write it reacting with hydroxide, we write it reacting with water because we've put this into water. So this ammonium ion can now react with water. So NH4 plus, and then that will react with water H2O to form. H3O plus and um, NH3, ammonia. So this would be the first equation that we would show, this would be the second equation that we would show, and we would say that a solution of ammonium chloride would have a pH of less than 7, because it's an acid, it's created hydronium ions in the solution. 
Okay, the last one that I've come across in the past exam is sodium carbonate. So sodium carbonate would dissolve in water to form. And see, at any stage, pause the video and see if you can do this yourself, um, to form two sodium ions and a carbonate ion. So we've seen from the previous, um, from sodium ethanoate, that sodium will not act as an acid or a base, so we can kind of cross that out as, as doing anything, um, and it'll be the carbonates. And we've seen the carbonate from our amphiprotic uh, equation, that that can act as a hydrogen acceptor, so this can act as a base. So we'd have CO3 2 minus plus H2O is a liquid. Um, that would go into, so that's going to accept a proton from the water, will be HCO3 minus, so we've accepted the proton, so we reduce the charge by one, uh, and then we have OH minus. Um, and that would, yeah, that would be all we would do for that, and we'd say that, that because there's the OH minus being produced, the pH is going to be, um, well, instead of doing that, no, pH is is greater than 7 in this case, because it's now a basic solution. Um, with the states, so this would be a solid, I don't know that it's entirely important that we writing the states for, in the exam, I don't think you necessarily get marked for or against that, um, and it can be quite hard, so when, yeah, I would just practice kind of writing them in, so this is, when I write a solid here, that's because sodium carbonate would be a, a powder by itself. You kind of just need to know that, which is why I find it quite tricky to explain why I'm using particular states. But sodium carbonate would be a solid. Um, if you think sodium hydrogen carbonate, that's your baking powder. So it's, yeah, can be kind of a powdery sort of thing. And then when we're putting it in with water, it dissolves. And so because it's now dissolved, we've got it as aqueous, and that's aqueous. Um, and then, so anything that's an ion, I guess this is a quick trick, anything that's an ion will be aqueous, okay? Um, and then anything else, water is liquid, um, unless stated otherwise, unless it's greater than 100 degrees, and then pretty much all ionic compounds, before they've been put into water, will be solid. Um, yeah, so that's just a couple of tricks to know what the states will be, but I don't think it's super important for you to be able to write it. But if you just get in the habit of seeing them and writing them when you can, that's a good start. So just a little tag on to the end, but the main thing from this video was the acidic and basic salts. It's just recognizing whether a salt will be acidic or basic. Just a quick little tag on as well, NaCl, when that goes into water we get Na plus and Cl minus. Neither of these would act as an acid or a base, so that would be a neutral salt. That's not going to change the pH of a solution. Cool. Thanks very much. See you at the next video.